what brought you to Taiwan in the first place? Um, well, I didn't expect Taiwan to be actually so diverse. And the system as well, like how the truck goes around at night with, and you have to, with music and you have to follow the truck <laughs> too. Uh, where are you from? We are from Poland. Poland. Oh, uh, both from Poland? Yeah. Okay, so how, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here since 24th of August, so almost two months now. And we are staying for a more uh, four months. Okay, so how long are you going to stay uh, this time? Uh, this time, so six months total. Okay, so you guys are students? Yeah, we study here. Okay. Yes, we are studying at Mandarin Training Center. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so uh, we came here to train our uh, language skills in Chinese. Oh, I see. So uh, what about uh, expectation and the reality? Um, <laughs> well, I didn't expect Taiwan to be actually so diverse. And people are usually pretty nice. Uh, it's more crazy than I expected, and that it's very different from what we what we know from Europe. But in general, it's quite um, it's quite easy to get along with people and to com communicate with people. I don't know about you, but like yeah. my communication skills, I I can um, I can assert you that they skyrocketed for sure because here we are forced to use language. Uh, so what you, you mentioned about crazy? So what kind of what kind of crazy? I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious too. <laughs> yeah, what kind of crazy? You mean like uh, the man will trace you on the street, something like that? Oh no! Wait, what? Yeah. Does somebody follow? It? No. Yeah, I mean maybe like creepy guys. No, 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 no. I just mean that Par going to parties or meeting new people, right? Yeah, meeting new people, and in general, like you can just go out, and um, we have some. Uh, much thing, so many things to do. For example, uh, there are many things you can do. You can uh, go sightseeing, uh, hiking, and in the evening go party with your friends. So. Yeah, and every time something unexpected happens. Like one time we were forced to hitchhike yeah. uh, because of the circumstances. And I think that overall it was really, really fun. So like that's what I mean by crazy. A lot of unexpected things happening. Oh, I see. It sounds positive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think? I think the re reality is better than expectations so yeah. I'm very happy uh, the one thing I don't like about Taiwan is yeah. uh, rain it's raining all the time I uh. hate it but uh, except that everything is very beautiful and I love living here you uh. I only regret staying not for longer so have you ever experienced culture shock But <laughs> yeah, I example. think it's like we're experiencing it over a long period of time. Yeah, but I think it's a good part because you can know the culture uh, in that way. I don't know. Mm -hmm. don't yeah, know. and um, I was actually talking to one of my friends and I was saying, it's raining here. Oh, I miss like, I don't want to go back home, but I miss some parts of like, Europe and my own culture that I know like it's not raining and maybe architecture is different and food is a little bit different and like I don't want to go back but I still there is a part of me that misses it and she said oh that's a cultural shock so maybe if you think about it that way then yeah we are experiencing some sort of oh. cultural shock because you know you've got to use yeah you've got to get yeah. used to like local food and everything yeah but I think in general food here is is great I, yeah. I love so, so you guys all like the food uh, yeah, we love the food here. Uh, even stinky tofu? No, maybe, maybe not that. Uh, I like stinky tofu. You like I'm stinky. a vegetarian. Uh, <laughs> that too. Oh, got it. So anything anything else you want to share uh, to the audience? Come to Taiwan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's not very touristical, so uh, it's the best option to go to the Asia for the first time, I think, because also communication is very convenient, so mm. you can reach a lot of places by bus or train. So yeah, and like it's I said, easy. And yeah, exactly. Like I said at the beginning, it's very diverse. You've got a huge variety of things to do and see here. And it's way easier to commute from one place to the other just by using public transport. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely it's like way easier to sightsee and see every part of Taiwan than to go to Europe and try to see a bunch of different places. Mm -hmm. Because here you're in Taipei, but you can easily go to the beach. It's and like one hour. Just in Taipei, uh, uh, you have a lot of things you can see and do. So. Yeah, yeah I, I do agree because Taipei is a big city. Yeah, that's right. So you can go for hikes, you can go surf, you can like everything is very um, ava easily available here.
Okay, I think uh, usually last question. Uh, do you speak Chinese? <laughs> A little bit. We speak Chinese. Ah, that you. You now Chinese level to where? It's difficult to say that we are in China, but I think we can talk with Taiwanese people. Oh, so how long have you been in Poland? We've been in Poland for three years. Oh, for three years? Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Hungary. Hungary? Never been there. How long have you been here? This is my second month. Only second month. Yeah. So, uh, is it also the first time? Yes, the first time. What brought you to Taiwan in the first place? Um, well, I studied international relations and Chinese. So, um, well, the first time was to go to China to Shanghai to study Chinese um, because it's part of my degree as like a exchange year. But um, since China hasn't opened up yet, um, yeah, our university made a deal with uh, NTNU, and that's why I. Uh, so what about the uh, expectation and the reality in Taiwan? Um, I think, well, I haven't been to Asia before, so it was definitely like a big change. But I think in terms of the culture, in terms of like the people, I was very, very pleasantly surprised because everyone was so like welcoming. Yeah. And I didn't expect it to be like that that much. Um, so I think it's, it's been really nice. But at the same time, it's really different from the West as well. So. Okay. Do you speak Mandarin? To some extent, yes, I do. Oh, uh, 那你你现在中文程度到哪里? Uh,我真不知道。我学中文两年了. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much for your time. Um, uh, where are you from? We are from Spain. Spain, both from yeah, Spain. Yeah, from Spain. Okay. Uh, how long have you been here? For one month and a half now, I think. Yes, yes we arrived oh, you came together. together. Yes, yeah, and we're oh, living I together. See. Brought you to Taiwan in the first place. Studies. We are studying here as an exchange stud student. Yes, at NTU. We're oh, so you both. So you both are students. Yep. Yes, exchange students. Yes. Okay. So how's your school life so far? Amazing. Yeah, really, really <laughs> chill. Yeah, we don't have really that many good. classes uh, back than back in other, our home, so it's perfect. It's like an extension of our holiday. Yeah. For so, now. <laughs> okay. So is it the first time to Taiwan? Yes. Yes. For first both time. of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what about the uh, expectation and the reality in Taiwan? Mm. I had, for example, no expectations. Like, I didn't know what I was going to find. Yeah. But the reality surpassed everything. It was really, really good. We love it here. Yeah, we're Amazing. in love with the city, with the people of Taiwan. They are really welcoming with, with foreigners. Yeah. So, in my case, I chose Taiwan because it was the most different option to go compared to Europe yeah totally yes. that was for me as well I wanted um, to go to Asia yeah. so when I saw that I had the option to go to Taiwan I yeah. thought it would be a really good experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you uh, visited different uh, uh, country in Asia I didn't I have I've been to Japan Malaysia and Thailand uh, so what do you think of the difference I think um, Taiwan is more like Europe in a sense. Like I think it's more, um, yeah. More but like Asian version. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Asia. 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 Yes, oh, it's still okay. Asia, but I think it's more like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, have you ever experienced culture shock in Taiwan? Because it's also first time, right? Um, yes. Yeah, we have about the safety. Yes. So, would you mind to share more detail? Yeah, it's really more safe to live here than in Spain, for example, in our cities. We have never been that safe. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, for sure. When we walk around at night, we feel like nothing could happen. But for now. Uh, for, for now. <laughs> we never know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. No, it, for me it's the same. And I think with everyone we've spoken to, being us girls, that yeah. some, like our parents, for example, they were a, bit, a little bit scared. But no, everything's been really positive and we're really, really, really safe. Yeah. Well, we feel like that. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to share about, I mean, your life so far to the audience? Another thing about the, the shock, the culture shock, it was about the, um, the beans, you know? Where you throw the... Yeah. Uh, you mean the garbage? Yeah, yeah the garbage. garbage. Like there's it, none? Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's so hard to find a Yeah, yeah, really hard, really hard. Yes. And the system as well, like how the truck 
goes around at night with and you have to uh, with music and you have to follow the truck to <laughs> throw yeah, the trash. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm Taiwanese, I'm sometimes I've really hard to find a trash can. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you yeah, have yes, to bring your is. own bags or something like that. Yeah, sure. But you, you think it's positive? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's very. really clean though. Yes. Okay.